Welcome back to What Would Charlie Shoot Podcast. We are on episode number 24 of the Photo Boot Camp Challenge that we're doing 30 days to learn your camera on holidays, a gift that you'll love. And on this 24th episode, I just want to say a pre-Merry Christmas. Let's go. So, a lot of my students love unconventional exercises to learn the camera. I like to give the gift of photography beyond what the f-stop, shutter speed, ISO, and basic lessons can give. So I'm doing this 30-day series as a holiday gift for you to learn your camera. Even if you're a seasoned pro like me, I promise that you'll take away something new from my series. And the beauty of this series is that you can repeat the exercises as many times as you like to learn something new. Before we get started today with the 24th episode, I'm going to go ahead and give you some links to make sure that you follow and get in all 30 episodes. If you're joining in late, no worries. You can go ahead and repeat these as many times as you like. And you can still participate in the episodes. So, number one, make sure you're following over on Medium at HTTPS colon slash slash medium dot com forward slash at Charlie Nabeck. You can read the lessons here. Number two, go over to Anchor. Jump over to HTTPS colon slash slash anchor dot FM forward slash Charlie dash or hyphen Nabeck. You can listen to my podcast here, hear the lessons, and you can also jump over to Spotify, Apple, Amazon, and where podcasts live if you want to follow and subscribe on your favorite channels. Also make sure to jump over to YouTube at HTTPS colon slash slash www.youtube.com forward slash C as in cat forward slash Charlie Nabeck. You can watch the lessons or listen here too. This is a relatively new adventure for me where I removed all my old videos when the pandemic hit. So yeah, I got 9.48k subscribers there, but the channel has been inactive until recently when I started posting again. And I am also a photo coach online on Zoom, and in all transparency, I share these lessons so you can grow in your photography. If you need any help or any have any questions about your photography or you simply want to learn something new, book a call with me on https colon slash slash calendly.com forward slash cmp call forward slash one hour. We'll jump on Zoom together. I'm happy to help you out, get you inspired, and get you kicking with your photography. After you finish uh, on all the channels above, follow on all the channels so you get all 30 lessons. Let's proceed with the 24th lesson today. So lesson 24 exercise is to photograph Christmas Eve. Something like it was the night before Christmas and all through the house, the photographers were stirring and photographing the mouse. The festive food smelled really great and it was really, really getting kind of late. You look at your camera and you got an image and tomorrow you got to think about Christmas. So as we get closer to Christmas, let's get festive with our cameras. Today's assignment is to photograph everything in a day leading up to Christmas Eve. This could be the traditions that your family celebrates around the holidays, or it could be simply what happens throughout the day or your attendance of a service at your church. This exercise will keep you on your feet as you experience the day through the lens and keep you thinking about your camera settings quite frequently. And remember, as always, have fun. Now, let's go through the exercise details. Number one, grab a snack and a beverage to get some energy to prepare for your shoot as usual. You need some energy to make some great photographs. I always start out with a cup of coffee and a quick snack on there, and I'm off and running. Number 22, number 22, no, number two, ah. <laughs> prepare to photograph your Christmas Eve by charging your camera batteries and packing any extra things that you may need in your camera bag in advance. Pockets work too, but I would recommend carry a camera bag for this exercise so that you can keep your camera safe in the elements. It might be raining where you are. It might be snowing where you are, something like that. Keep your camera high and dry is what I say. Number three, when you wake up on December 24th, keep your camera on you through the entire day and document what happens until you sleep on that night. Number four, think about things like angles, framing, lighting, composition, and how to best capture your Christmas Eve creatively. Number five, make sure to change your angles and perspective often as you photograph and make 10 to 20 images of what you love for your Christmas Eve. If you need to shoot more images to get this specific number of images, shoot until you're satisfied. Simple as that. Number six, remember to document everything that happens. You're going to look back at these memories in years to come and you're going to smile from ear to ear like I do on my images as well. Number seven, load your images up on your computer and feel free to add it to your like. And number eight, post five images from your Christmas Day shoot to social media and tag Share Picture Magazine and hashtag Christmas Eve 2022. If you want to become a contributor to Share Picture Magazine, you can jump over to https colon slash slash shareapicturemagazine.com 
and follow the contributor instructions there. My students post their work and write about their work, and it's become a great community of supportive photographers, and I'd love to invite you to become a part of this as well. As a bonus, if you'd like to write, take a moment to write about your exercises and share what you feel about these photo boot camps online. You can repeat them as many times as you like from different starting points so that you can learn and experience your camera. Also remember to follow and subscribe to the above links for things on Medium, things on Anchor, and things on YouTube on my channels so you can get all 30 exercises and repeat them as many times as you like and you can get tomorrow's exercise. Merry Christmas, good luck, and happy shooting. I hope that you get some images of you and your family or any of your experiences that you do that you love. I'm going to go ahead and uh, jump off for today, but tomorrow I'm going to have a brand new Christmas Day episode and we're going to go from there. So good luck, happy shooting, I'll see you tomorrow.